Flight sim is a hobby that traditionally has restricted you to flying only at your desk. That perspective might be put up for debate by a new controller coming soon. The Arrow, built by newcomer Yaman Flight. This past week, I had the opportunity to get an exclusive preview of a prototype build of this upcoming controller. Let's talk about what it can do in this FS Elite first look. Yaman Flight is developing its first product, the Arrow. This product is the fusion of a traditional handheld gaming controller and the unique flight controls found on aircraft of all sizes. It enables a user to get a flight sim experience in one device that you can even throw in your carry-on bag and use when mobile. This product is planned for release in the spring, but this past week I got a hands-on demo with their functional 3D printed model of the Arrow. This model is reflective of the final design ergonomically, however the exterior shell is going to be a smooth plastic. By your right thumb, you have access to two sliders, which I chose to map to thrust and flaps. At the base of the controller, there are two vernier style sliders. I map these to reverse thrust and spoilers. You then have a trim wheel by the left thumb. Then at the back of the controller is one of the coolest things I've seen, mechanically linked rudders. Additionally, you have a hat switch, a D-pad, and six multifunction buttons. The first test I did was obviously flying a Cessna. You can see my right thumb controlling the thrust initially, and then using my index fingers to control the rudder as I barreled down the runway. After takeoff, you're gonna see me use my right thumb on the trim wheel to trim out my airplane. I found it very easy to put in precise control inputs here. And we're going to put in some trim. Next, I did a test using the Extra 300. I wanted to see how easy it was to put in precise control inputs and do fast maneuvers. To my pleasant surprise, it was easy. I could put in precise aileron and rudder inputs throughout my flight. The plane responded exactly as I intended as I flew the airplane like a madman around Chicago. I also did some stress testing, seeing how easy it would be to do a rejected takeoff in a jetliner. I'm lined up in Boston in the default 787. You can see I first use my thumb to accelerate the jet. Then when I hit 80 knots, I pull the thrust back, engage brakes with my left index finger, pull back on the two vernier sliders to engage spoilers and thrust reversers, and then re-engaging throttle to put thrust reverser at full power. It didn't exactly feel natural from a piloting perspective, but I was able to make the airplane do exactly what I intended it to do. There are also the multi-function buttons on the controller. I mapped these to the autopilot inputs. Unfortunately, it is pretty much impossible to see as the D-pad is cropped out of the clip and we didn't catch it uh, in real time when filming. But I was able to press up and down on the D-pad to quickly raise and lower the various inputs okay, so and use the multifunction buttons to change which setting I am modifying.
Finally, I tested this in the environment that I envisioned this product being utilized the most, away from a desk. We plugged the laptop into a controller and then booted up X-Plane 11. I was able to sit on a couch with just a simple controller and fly. This was the moment that I really saw the potential on this controller. This is an opportunity for a user to take a controller with them when they are on the go. You could be on an actual flight, plug your laptop into the in-flight power, and pull this controller out of your carry-on bag. Your time spent flight simming is no longer constrained to just your at-home desk. The way I see it, this product has a lot of potential. For those of you who have a full yoke, throttle, and rudder pedal setup, and only want to fly at your desk, this product might not be for you. But if you're someone who wants to really get into flight simming, or you just want a more minimal setup, or you just don't want to buy a joystick, this is a triumph over the incumbent Xbox controller. Further, the way this opens up the possibility for flight simming to be a truly mobile experience is a potential game changer. Yawman might really be onto something with this new controller. I personally am really looking forward to seeing this product hit the market this spring. I really am curious though about what other people are thinking. This product doesn't have any real comparisons in the flight sim hardware market. Is it of interest to you? Let me know in the comments. That'll do it for this FS Elite first look. For more news on the Yawman Arrow, stay tuned in on fselite.net the ultimate resource for flight simulation news.